What's up everybody? Welcome back everybody to Cruising Complete. We are here at Port Canaveral Terminal 1. Picture of the wonder of the seas. We are here to board Independence on a short three night sailing. Taking my buddy Robbie on his first ever cruise. He's gonna get to experience what it's like. Some independence over there through the window. We'll see you when we get on board. On the way up the ramp to that ship. Probably the most exciting part of the first day. Their video. Here we go. On board. First step. Ba boom. First step on a cruise ship ever. Yep. All right, we're gonna go tour the ship. All right, so we are officially on the ship, we're going to do our muster drill check-in. We gotta go to C-14. We already watched the videos, listen to the ship horn. Last step, you just gotta come here, show them your set sail pass, they'll scan it, make sure that you watch the videos and you will be checked in and good to go. So there's C-14, there's nobody there, so we're just gonna get with this guy here and check in with him. So we have, it looks like, a Disney ship behind us in port. I don't know which ship that is. Oh, there's a Disney. Also, Carnival Liberty is here, but it's on the front of the ship. We haven't made our way there yet. Right, here we are on the promenade deck. Cafe Promenade, Ben and Jerry's, Sugar Beet. So like I said, we are back on Independence of the Seas. We just came on this ship back in November with Sierra, but I had a casino comp, and Robbie has never been on a cruise before. So I decided to take this short three night sailing so you can see what it's like to cruise. He's buying a lanyard because he doesn't have a lanyard. The Ben and Jerry's cows in that room right behind those cows is the Ben and Jerry suite. You get special perks for booking that room. You get to go to the suite lounge. You get free Ben and Jerry's ice cream. So if you're ever interested in booking that cruise cabin, it's a promenade view. Reach out to us. Cruising complete, join our Facebook page. You can reach out to me at Barry at cbcruises.com. My travel agent email address if you don't have a travel agent. The car. So it's interesting to have a lot of these old cars on a lot of the promenade decks. I think on all the Voyager ship and above have a promenade. Pretty cool. There's Vintage's, the wine bar. Go back here so I don't leave Robbie and he get lost. There is Sorrento's Pizza on the promenade. We'll be there at some point. Willie will definitely be getting some pizza. You can order it by the pie, by the slice, pie. Beer pizza slice. All right, we are in the Windjammer Buffet. We already went through the line, got some food. Got cheeseburger, chicken fingers, mashed potatoes, some potatoes, mac and cheese. Probably got a little bit of everything too. And a Kraken colada. Kraken, release Kraken, the Kraken. Release the Kraken. Into we'll go through and show the video later what all food options they have. It's kind of busy right now all the people because we just boarded the ship so everybody's coming to the wind jammer to get something to eat but we'll go through later and show some of the food options they have 
Alright, a little bit of the buffet as we're walking out. They got a big bar at the front of this Windjammer. It's nice. Go up there, order your drinks. It's Chops Grill Specialty Restaurant. Giovanni's the other specialty restaurant on board over there. So when we came in, they got the guitar player here singing the Washi Washi song. Go ahead. So washy washy guys. They were doing a baby shark rendition of this when we first came in. The baby shark rendition of wash your hands. What does this world come to? <laughs> Stop the madness. <laughs> The hand washing station as soon as you come into the wind jammer. Alright, onward we're gonna go. Alright, so here we are in Boleros. We're just kind of walking through scope and Robbie's checking out the ship he's never seen before, drink, selling the drink packages. But we're gonna walk through Playmakers. Robbie wants to go check out the casino. What it looks like on board. This is Playmakers? Yep. Okay. It's Playmakers Sports Bar on board. They got foosball that you can play that's complimentary. They got pool tables over there. Any sporting events you might want to watch are on pool bar in here as well. It is a specialty restaurant, so you can't order food. It does cost extra to order food in Playmakers. And on Independence here, they actually have some slots at the tail end of Playmakers before you make it into the actual casino. The basketball games and stuff, ski ball, those are extra costs. So if you have kids, make sure you discuss that with them ahead of time. They will run up your bill at the end of your cruise if you do not. So the casino is not open, so we are going to be able to record a little bit. Then I'm just gonna. Uh, it'll be open after sail away, probably around 5, 5.30ish, somewhere around there. But I'm just going to kind of walk through and show Robbie around a little bit. And Buffalo! Yep, roulette tables. They got pretty much all your major games. They got blackjack, roulette, uh, ultimate Texas hold'em. There's a craps table over there. Here's the poker table right there for regular uh, Texas hold'em. Okay. Uh, different variations of blackjack. And we're going to teach Barry how to play craps. Yes, Robbie is going to teach me how to play craps on this cruise. Hopefully I don't lose all my money. <laughs> casino bar. If you're a casino player and you're prime level or above, you do get free drinks in the casino. Is this it? Is this the whole casino? This is the whole casino, yes. So you got this side over here, which is pretty much all slots. Old stuff too. Yeah, uh, they got all types of variations of slot machines. Some of the old, some of the new claw <laughs> machines. Try to win some money in there. Then you got the claw machine with all the stacks of one dollar bills. I think I would rather put my money in a slot machine. <laughs> and then schooner bars over there. If you know, every single Royal Caribbean ship has a schooner bar. All right, we're gonna go get in some trouble. We'll talk at you later. So we are still sitting here. We just came out of the schooner bar area. Robbie went to go use the restroom. So we hid Wiggles, cruising duck. We're gonna see if anybody finds a Wiggles. We'll leave her there for a little bit and come back later and check on her. If you don't know what cruising ducks are, check out our video we did on cruising ducks a while back. Sierra and Kaylee did one in depth explaining the whole thing, how to make tags and the whole variation. So there's part of the port. We haven't left yet. It is still kind of early. It is 12.30. So we have not left port yet. We're not scheduled to leave port until I believe 4.30. Tip your bartenders, folks. Robbie talked me into getting a old fashioned 
Not so sure how I feel about this right now. Thank you. Yeah, same thing. Two old fashions. I don't know. It's not bad. I don't know yet. Uh, let me drink the rest of it and I'll let you know my thoughts on it later. But what are your thoughts? What's your favorite cruise drink to order when you go on a cruise? Part of the arcade. No, it's all mostly like ticket games and air hockey, racing games, stuff like that is what they have in here. It's a six to eight year old group. Yes, plucky ducky. When they no longer have Mortal Kombat in the arcade. There's your rubber duck machine. Thanks for zombies. Plucky, plucky ducky. There you go, Robbie, a rubber duck machine. All the old games. Claw machines, different variety of games. I said the games do cost extra. Talk to your kids before they run off with their CPAS card and run up your account. Alright, so checking out the basketball court. They got a pretty good sized rock climbing wall on this ship. Engine smoking. There's the sky pad, the trampoline, virtual reality. They got the sky climber pads area for the kids. They had a, uh, we just watched the surfing simulator, but it was really busy. Probably get some more video of that tomorrow or something while we're in port. Up on the pool deck, it's sail away party. The beach, we are heading out to sea. So this is what the dance party looks like. This ship is crowded. It's awful windy up here. No live band. All right, we are back on the promenade deck. We've been kind of jumping around this cruise, just checking things out, giving Rob the tour. And he told me about these. It what are a, they call it? A blue Long Island. So this it's is basically a blue Long Island, a Long Island iced tea. Except instead of Coke and sweet and sour, they swap it with Sprite and blue curacao. So a blue Long Island. I took a sip. It's pretty good. So if you want a Long Island, it seems to be a little bit less sour than the regular Long Island. So a blue Hawaiian, not blue Hawaiian, blue Long Island. It's also a great conversation starter. Yes. This is our view from the dining room. Butter, sugar. Can't see the chandelier from here. We are on deck three. But we get to look through the window. Pretty close to the window. <clears throat> so one of the things they did recently in the main dining room is updated their menu. We got a blurry menu right now. Focus camera, there we go. So there's not as many offerings every night, but supposedly dinner service is supposed to be more like streamlined now. But still a pretty good offering, and I'm sure if you wanted something else and asked them, they would probably get that for you. I don't know what I'm gonna get. Uh, I might try the spinach dip and the New York strip and maybe the key lime pie. All right, just gonna go in here and show you a quick glimpse real quick. Piano player. So we have the control room here. That control room is for ice skating rink oh wow so they do full on ice skating shows we're gonna check out the ice skating show at some point during this cruise but they have retired olympic skaters all that good stuff the ice skating show like stadium seating all right so we're done dinner we went through the check out the ice skating rink just to give a small glimpse of that we got another ship out there that's i believe that's carnival liberty back right there not positive. Yep, that's Carnival Liberty. Left Port Canaveral with us today. And Robbie said that that dinner experience was one of the best dinner experiences he has ever had. They were very accommodating to my allergies, which I have. Hellfish, peanut, uh, any 
kind of not actually. They even make me pre-order my, <coughs> my dinner for tomorrow um, by giving me tomorrow's menu and allowing me to make a selection that they were going to make sure is free of any other. Good stuff. I am very happy. So that was his first dining experience in the main dining room. And like I said, he was surprised at the service that you get on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. So hats off to the crew members for providing great service by Carnival Liberty. So we are now going to the casino for a while. We got some live entertainment in Boleros. We're gonna walk through Playmakers. And we're gonna go to the casino. This trip has kind of been all over the place. We've been all over the place this trip, but trying out a little bit of everything. There's a casino, it's open. Here we go. All right, we are actually on day two. I didn't record much last night because we stayed in the casino all night. <laughs> Robbie taught me how to play craps. Morning. Was actually pretty successful at playing craps on our first time. Or my first time, he's played before. We're gonna go to the Windjammer Buffet, get something to eat eat and then probably uh, maybe get off the ship at some point and go check out NASA. We'll figure out the plan. So we're kind of jumping in and out of it this cruise. We really don't have much of a, a plan for vlogging and all that stuff, but we'll get back to it. It's like Carnival Elation, Jim Porter. I think that's the Margaritaville ship next to it. Oh, we got Disney pulling in right now. And the Windjammer eating breakfast. The lines are ridiculously busy because it's that time where everybody's trying to rush to get food and then to go get off the port to go to Nassau. Yeah, Disney's literally pulling in right now. Yep. So that's where we're going to be going today. We are going to go check out Atlantis. Just, uh, we're not doing a water park or anything. We're just going to do, go check out the casino and go kind of tour the property a little bit. So we are parked next to, that's us. That's Liberty. That's Disney Wish. You have Rapunzel hanging by her hair on the back of the ship. There's a Carnival ship in Port 2, and I believe the Margaritaville ship as well. It's parked over here next to Carnival, or it was this morning. Carnival Elation, it's a pretty old, small carnival ship. We made it to Atlantis. We took a taxi ride, $5 from the port. Yeah, they got all these shops as we walked through. I haven't been to Atlantis in probably 15 years. Casino, Royal Towers, Spa, Sports Center. I don't think they're gonna let us film in the casino, so I'll have to shut it off, but. Yeah. If you wanna to go to Atlanta, it's $5 for the taxi ride. It's like a shared taxi, it's not a private taxi, a little shuttle bus. They do drive crazy here. We drove here in first gear the whole way. Yeah, he was in first gear the whole ride with the check engine light on. All right, we're gonna go ahead into the casino so we can't video in there. We just got back. To the port that was our taxi driver i'm surprised we made it back oh my god they drive freaking crazy here in nassau Got all the taxi drivers city really looks kind of really really old last time i come here all the time but i haven't got off in port in quite a long time because i was here so much but it's definitely a lot more run down than it used to be kind of reminds me why i quit getting off at the port 
I don't know what that other hotel is there that's next to Atlantis. I don't know if that's like a part of Atlantis. I'm not sure. All right, we're heading back to the ship. What did you think of Nassau? It was a dirty city. Very dirty. Very old and run down. We're back on the ship. Give me Las Vegas any day. Yeah, Las Vegas sounds a lot better than Nassau. I'm gonna go get some pizza. Well, something smells good. Figure out what we're gonna do the rest of the night. Promenade is definitely a lot quieter on port days. I believe we are sailing at full capacity. It's a March 31st sailing, so spring break time always tends to be busier. Casino stairs. We've done a lot of time in the casino on this ship, so we haven't done nowhere near as much vlogging as we normally do. In case you're wondering why. We still have to go get our cups. We haven't got our cups for the drink packages yet. You get tumblers for the freestyle machines. We're gonna get our cups. Where's the bar? Let's go to the bar and get our cups. We'll go to the ale and anchor. I can use like three soda. All right. All right, ale and anchor. We're going to get our cups and probably a drink too. All right, so we have our tumbler cups. You get these when you get the deluxe beverage package. Ooh, that looks blurry. Yes, you get a free tumbler. That's good for the soda freestyle machines. Blue Long Island. Got one of these yesterday. It's also called something different that's not really YouTube friendly, but really good. Blue Long Island. Right, I'm getting in line for Sorrento's. Sometimes they have different like olive dishes and stuff here too. Cheese pizza, pepperoni. Got pepperoni and vegetarian pizza. Looks like Rob got some pepperoni. My drink cup out of the way. It's cool, pretty cool. It's got like uh, newer designs. They constantly change the design to the drink cup. And the blue Long Island door decorations. Room 9605, standard interior state room. We are on day two. We oh. have a towel animal. We got a dog. That it looks more like a looks more like a bunny rabbit. Yeah, I don't I don't know. We're his name, we call him Rufus. I was gonna call him Chico, but Chico, okay, Chico. <laughs> Chico Rufus the third. The third, yes, that should be his name. The standard interior stateroom, pretty basic. So two beds, two people. There's the other person. His name's Robbie. Sits first cruise. The little lamps in the corner. Buttons. You got a TV counter space you got a fridge you do need to leave the door cracked though if you want the fridge to get cold because it doesn't get cold if you leave the cabinet closed just basic drawers chair that's me check out the shirt let me see if I can get a better view of the shirt without the camera blocking it no I can't you know what we're gonna do we're gonna turn the camera around so you can see the shirt it's a Titanic Playing rock, paper, scissors. Not really sure how people feel about this shirt on this cruise, but I haven't had any bad comments yet. So, anyway, back to the Isn't tour video. Ironic, yeah, it's very ironic that I'm wearing a Titanic shirt on the cruise. Uh, telephone, hair dryer, come in your stateroom. And then let's go open the cabinet, the closet. Safe. You can type in your own code, put your money in there, any valuables, and you're safe. Some storage rash, you got your life vest, hangers to hang up your clothes. These little thingies, I guess you could hang hangers on for shorter people, handicapped people maybe. It's not a handicap accessible room. Or maybe just like stack luggage or something on there. Um, laundry service bags, stuff like that. Oh, we have a chair. So we don't have a couch in this room because this is a two person state room chair little table it is also a connecting room there's a door to the next stateroom so if you have a big party you could have the door open 
But if we were to open it right now, we'd probably uh, really irritate her. Yeah, I don't think our neighbors would want us to open the door. I don't think we can open the door. I think they have to like be unlocked or something from both sides, or I don't know. I've never done the connecting staterooms. So the bathroom, you have the little walk-in shower area. Um, pretty small, but it's, you know, you're taking a shower, you're not spending the whole day in there. Uh, plenty of towel racks, obviously the toilet, that sounds like a spaceship is launching when you flush it. Um, you have a couple of cabinets here, that's not a cabinet, that's just the mirror. Uh, so I guess there is no cabinets on this one, because that does not open. So that's not actually a storage cabinet. But, counter space, little shelf down there. I guess water cups that's the bathroom so yeah this is interior room 9605 these are also some little storage areas put some little gadgets or whatever you got in there that you want to keep hidden there's another one over here and thermostat when we got to our room somebody had it turned all the way up to the other side over here to heat I don't know why you'd want to be that hot in an interior stateroom. And ugly face curtains. Yes. So, the curtains. I guess, I don't know if why the curtains are there. Like, if you're in a stateroom with people you know, do you need... Maybe you want privacy from the second person? But Wouldn't it be better to go diagonally instead of... Yeah, like, I don't know. Like between these two beds? I don't know. Obviously, I mean, they're there for something. I'm just... Do y'all know why y'all need curtains in an interior stateroom for two people? <laughs> like, maybe if you split the room, like if you're not family or you don't know the person or you're just splitting a room with a random person, I don't know. But why the curtains? So odd. And it's not like they're for decoration purposes because they, like, they actually work. So, I don't know. That's the stateroom. Alright, folks, I got my mojito, my salad. Uh... Again, there's a stateroom, 9605 interior stateroom. We decorated the door a little bit. Like I said, go join. If you haven't subscribed, it's free. Do it. Join our Facebook group as well. That's free as well. Get some cool cruise information. So Robbie is actually, he's going to lay down and take a nap. We are, like I said, doing a lot of gambling on this trip in the casino. It's the end of the casino's uh year for prime it ends on march 31st which was last night so we are trying to get some points in the casino to get some more perks more free cruises um so those of you that don't know we did book this cruise on a casino comp uh we used our annual casino comp our prime cruise for this you can get any sailing up to seven nights um but the, you don't have to spend a lot of money in the casino to get offers. So typically we do a uh, couple hundred dollars. Uh, you know, if you spend a couple hundred dollars in the casino, um, you could possibly start getting offers. So uh, definitely, you know, the, the casino is a, it's a good way to, to earn free cruises, free trips. So uh, definitely go in there and do that. Um, and we'll give more details on that as we go in future vlogs and stuff. Like I said, this vlog is, uh, it's Robbie's first cruise, so we haven't really done a whole lot of vlogging. We're just kind of, uh, showing him around and stuff, so I haven't done as much stuff on the camera. But I'm just going to kind of go around and tour the ship a little bit while he's taking a nap. This is like an overhead view of the Solarium. Got Disney over there. Uh, they got the Solarium Bar. Uh, Solarium is 16 and older only. This is considered Deck 13. You gotta take the staircase at the front of the ship to get up here from Deck 12. So where the Independence Dunes mini golf is. Got these little misters here to help keep you cool if it gets a little bit hot out here. See Atlantis again way over there. So they have a shaded seating area here. If there's any adults that want to come, sit and relax. If you watch your kids play some mini golf. Oh, this looks like a good spot. 
We're gonna hide. We got rubber frogs. We found them at Dollar Tree. Everybody does ducks, so we figured we'd do a little bit something different. We're gonna leave a rubber frog there. He kind of fits, doesn't he? He's in a plant, kind of his own environment. So this is Independence Dunes. The mini golf course on board. Looks like it's a it's a nine hole mini golf. It's free. Uh, you just grab your putters and golf balls from over here. They got a large barrel with them in it. And play as much mini golf as you want for free. One of the included amenities on board. Another little misting station over here. Let's go check out Disney Wish. So Disney is a nice cruise ship. I've been on Disney. The food is really good. Um, I prefer Royal Caribbean over Disney. Disney's uh, price-wise are going to be the highest in the industry, but um, their their food is good. There's the entertainment is good. There's no casinos on Disney, which is a a downside for me. But it's it's still nice. A nice ship. It just depends, I guess, what you're looking for. If you are looking, like I said, to book a Disney cruise though, or a Royal Caribbean cruise or any other cruise, reach out to us. Uh, can join our cruising complete facebook group or email me barry at cbcruises.com i can help you with all of your booking needs or just contact your travel agent if you already have a travel agent definitely contact them there's another view of the solarium stowaway piano player in the elevator we left our duck a pretty cool thing to see So it is six o'clock at night. We just left NASA. We left NASA late. Pier runners were trying to get on the ship, so I think we waited. Maybe had some shore excursions running late. We're waiting for the casino to open. We're gonna play some river dragons. We're gonna try to hit that. Up to 128 free spins. That would be awesome. Big bonus. It says it pays out before hitting 5,000. So hopefully it pays out to us. Came to the Windjammer for dinner. Cheeseburger, mashed potatoes and gravy, chicken parmesan, chicken fingers, fries, a little bit of everything. We got a little bit of everything too. Mojito, water. What's up, everybody? Last day of the cruise, we got a monkey in our stateroom. The dreaded luggage tags. We're getting off the ship tomorrow. We didn't do hardly anything today. Vlogging wise, we've been in the casino the whole day. So, luggage tags, we're getting off in the morning. We're probably gonna go back to the casino later. I'm New Year gonna just- take a nap. You're gonna take a nap? Yeah. The naps aren't allowed on cruises, sir. No, they absolutely are. I'm kidding. Oh. You, you can take a nap. Drinking pretty heavily. <laughs> yeah. Since what? <clears throat> 11 o'clock this morning? Yeah, we had an early start. At six something. So take a nap and get ready to go spend the night in the casino after that? Take a nap. Uh, poker table starts at what? Probably 9 o'clock? Yeah, 8 39. Oh. So I assume you'll probably come back and wake me up for it or something yeah I'll come get you we'll, we'll do the poker table tonight look at the monkey swinging yeah so we spent a lot of time in the casino because the casino year just reset um, it's actually I think today's April 2nd it reset on April 1st so we've been trying to get all of our points to achieve our and he got annual tier and we got them in a day and a half already so uh, <laughs> that's pretty awesome <laughs> like, uh, sometimes it takes me the whole year to get there, but we got there in a day and a half, so 
we're gonna be taking a lot more cruises. That we means quite a bit of money through Barry's card. Yeah, we did a lot of money. Like, you don't want to know the amount. We probably went through what thirteen grand because I've got over four thousand points this cruise. So, what? Wow, that's like twenty four thousand. Yeah, total for the whole cruise. So that's like twenty grand. We cycled through. Well. Not all of its slots. We played table games. We played craps. We lost forty grand. It's no, no, we we haven't lost that much. Nowhere near that much. But between we just, it's just we just keep cycling it through. One and cycle, one and cycle back through. The yeah. Slots. So we've had hit some. Not we haven't had hand pays on slots, but we hit some pretty we've had, decent. We've had some three hundred, four hundred dollar tickets. Yeah. Just cycled it all back through. Buffalo has been horrible to us this cruise, though. I don't. I, I hated Buffalo before. I hate it even more now because it just like we haven't had a big hit on Buffalo. We've hit the bonuses and get like one bonus. We got a five dollar bonus on it's Buffalo. It's been pretty stingy. Yeah. So I don't. I don't think we're gonna do a whole lot more Buffalo, but we'll probably go back play some poker later. Uh, and uh, do that. So we really didn't vlog much day three. I still yeah, got a few did ducks. Really good at poker last night. Though. Yeah, yeah. I had a pretty good night we at had poker. Pocket kings and won an eight hundred dollar pot. Yeah, and my aces held up, and so yeah, it wasn't a bad night at poker. So um, I got a few cruising ducks left here that I'm probably gonna go out and hide. I'm not gonna take the camera with me because I'm going straight to the casino after that, and. I don't feel like lugging a bunch of extra stuff with me. So we're gonna go hide this cruising ducks and I'm probably gonna go back to the casino, come get Robbie up after that, go play poker, all that stuff. Oh, we got a, a crinkled up voucher here for 24 cents. I'll probably stick that in a slot machine with a $20 bill and see what happens. I've been playing this Cleopatra slot machine that's been really, really good to me. So Robbie showed me about it and it's worked out pretty well, so. Uh, yeah. That's what we're going to do. So sorry about day three, not really getting much vlogging. And we went to Coco Cay today. We didn't even get off on the island. We literally spent the entire day in the casino. Here's, uh, and here's also a bunch of quarters. Oh, I'm going to put that in the quarter pusher game. Yes. yes. I'm going to play that game. That's I got texted like... my brother about the quarter pusher game. When you put the quarter in and it puts it on the little thing and then it pushes it forward and sometimes it pushes more quarters or dollar bills. Yeah, they got like $20 bills uh, and stuff in I there. I took a so... picture of it and sent it to my brother. I said, should I play this? And Kevin texted me back, you know I would. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm going to go put these quarters in that quarter pusher. That's a fun game. So funny story, back in the day, the very first cruise I ever took, I, uh, it was on a carnival ship. I don't even remember which carnival ship it was. I was like 18. I just turned 18. I was old enough to gamble. And I would go sit in the casino and wait, literally wait for the like boat to rock because uh, it was a lot smaller ships back then. So I would wait for the ship to rock and then I would take the quarters that would fall out when the ship rocked and I would go put it in a video poker machine. And I actually hit four of a kind in a video poker machine. Won like 80 bucks. I was 18 years old. That was a lot of money to me, so that was kind of cool. But anyway, all right, so I'm going to go hide these ducks. I'm not taking the camera with me to do that. I'm going to go back to the casino. Uh, but we did get a little bit of footage. I did some yesterday. I did some vloggings on our day two, so we'll put those videos up as well. Bye.